think I have a good valid point. Of being a diva? No, I think I have a good valid point of the situation. You the know. one that you can't explain because you don't know what the you're talking no, about? The situation? Yeah. No. I have two bikes here. The drivetrains are jacked. I don't want to be out here riding all day with Jack. Who wants that? It's not, these aren't, these trails aren't, aren't simple, just straight I across. Don't care. You want to go riding all day. You don't have to ride all day. You got to go up and ride down the trail. How hard is that? Well, you are a diva. Golly, damn, man. You're difficult. <laughs> I've had it up to here with your today. One more, one more outburst. You know, one more disagreement from you and you can walk home. <laughs> Wolfstick Nation, what's up guys? Today we are going to be uh, introducing some new tires today that were provided to us by Daniel Barrett, our boy from Canada. Uh, the first one that I'm going to put on the rear first. We're going to take this out to Mount Nebo here in a little bit and we're going to do a little tire test. This is a Minion DHF 27.5 by 2.8. And the meat on this thing, the tread just looks nasty, right? It looks like a tractor tire. I'm really hoping that this is going to fit on the frame of the GT Aggressor Pro and not rub. I used to run the Schwalbies on there, and in the beginning, there were 2.8s as well, some Rocket Rons. They were rubbing on the side just a tad bit. I'm really hoping that these don't because I want to try these bad. So this will be running on the rear. Well, we have that one on the rear. We're going to be running the Icon Plus Maxxis 27.5 by 2.8 tire on the front for the first run down the... Mount Nebo uh, Black Diamond Trail. You can see the meat there. These look really fast. The tread's not too deep. What we'll do as well is we're going to uh, weigh these and kind of see the weight differences. And these will be going on our Wolf Tick Videos tire uh, breakdown, right? Because we're professionals when it comes to tire stuff now. Um, Minion DHF on the rear, the Icon on the front, the first run down the uh, Hayes Creek Run Black Diamond Trail. And then when we get down to the bottom, we're gonna swap them and then we're gonna grade them like this. How we feel with the front and rear? No logic. The rim, the rim is is a little wonky, but it's not real bad. Yeah. Okay. Well, the big thing is, no, and the good thing yeah. is, it's not rubbing. No, it's Maybe not like, rubbing. So yeah. let's just go with it. We don't have time. Listen, when you do tires, like especially Maxxis, and I think all of them do it. The drive set has all the extra information. All right, guys, we got the Maxxis Minion DHF in the rear, big old fat tractor tire, and we've got the Maxxis Icon Plus in the front, it's supposed to be the fast roller. Let's hit this black diamond trail up. We got all the cameras rolling, and another, uh, again, a big thank you to Daniel Barrett for hooking us up with these tires, but let's get the first set out of the way, then we're going to swap them. Let's do this, the Hayes Creek Run. Hayes Creek Run, black diamond. It's been a minute since I've been on this bike, but I am ready. Ready catching some good air. Let's see how these tires do, baby. A little sketchy in the beginning. Let's see if these are some of the best tires today. That front one's already feeling good. Here comes our first turn. Not bad. Uh, the front dug well. The back, you can feel the weight on the back, but it kind of silences that rear end of the bike down. Jump really good with them. Now the combo might be worth that. Sam Fisher may have been right here, folks. <laughs> oh wow, so fast. Oh, that was close. <laughs> good stopping power. It'd be interesting, especially going one after the other. It's be a fun test. Oh, yeah, a little. When you're not putting any weight on that back tire, it will let you know quick 
and it wants weight on it the entire time while you're taking these turns. Because if not, that suck is going to slip out from under you. So being front heavy a lot of the times, a little difficult with the DHF in the back. I can feel that. And the front tire is the only one, like I said, when it comes to going to turns like this, if I don't have a lot of weight, that rebound ain't set just right at the front, I know it's going to start sketching out. But, buddy, is it fast. It is a fast roller. I mean, man. Really good tires, the combo, I'm loving them, up, but I'm looking forward to switching them up and seeing exactly how that feels. Let's see what this mixture is all about now. All right, Black Diamond Trail tire test number two. Here we go. Real good jumpers are off the bat. All right, now as far as the turning goes, that front. That first turn's always a little sketchy, and that front is not wanting to... Not really wanting to go where I want it. These tires do amazing in the rock gardens. I mean, they just eat it up. Whether that's the way they are now, or when they're switched. Except DHF is so heavy, you can feel a lot more trying to bring it up in the front end like here and that back's wanting to pop up of course that's how light the back end of the bike is now but this combo's not bad either every time that front tire starts to grip it goes one way and that back tire slips out the other way i'm not digging that when the front tire does want to connect oh good amount of air Whew. switch back here ah technical areas yeah i mean that front weight and everything i do not like it up there i don't like when you feel you're going one way and the rest of the bike is saying hey buddy we're not going that way we're we're going this way you know and these things are not really on track they're not on trail they're not they're not on the same page it feels like that went pretty good um the mixture of the tires was great just going back to back it was a lot of fun and I really got a good feel. Um, only thing I don't like about it, like we keep talking about that DHF being a rear tire as opposed to a front tire. On the trails, you can definitely feel it because the weight up there really starts to wear your forearms out, trying to lift up that front end constantly. The icon on the back isn't bad. I would really be curious to get another icon and see how it feels with front and back on it. The icon is just so light and it really, even though it wasn't on the front, it really sped this whole bike up right now on these trails. So let's see where the these two tires go. Very interesting first time ever swapping tires. You know, let's see where let's see where they rank. <clears throat> All right, well, we are back at the shop now. Took out the tires earlier. Had a blast, had a lot of fun. I don't know if you guys can see it behind us. But that's Goodyear Escapes, Maxis Minion misspelt. SSs, misspelt. I, I usually have really good stuff. He has been hitting the head a lot, people. Victoria Barzos and Kenda Amrax. So take all these numbers. Look, it, this is all just, this is the Wolf Tick rating system, but it's all, it, to me, it's all fun. You know, yeah. it's it's nothing. I mean, don't get too upset or messed up if it's tires that you own or whatever. Yeah, or if you send them us, send them, yeah. send them to us. Yeah, so we're Daniel Barrett, don't get all upset. We're gonna be fair. All right, Minion the Maxxis Minion DHF. It's a hundred. It's a one twenty TPI tire. It's a twenty seven five by two point eight. Mm -hmm. And so on this one, I'm gonna break down the categories like we'd like to do on this, right? So the looks you give a four, the feel you give a three point two. Cornering plus straight line traction. The cornering you gave a 3.2. The straight line traction, like climbing traction and whatnot, you yeah. gave it a 4.5. Yeah, see, 4.5, a straight line. They felt very good, really comfortable going straight line. And um, when it comes to this part, both tires didn't feel like a 2.8. You know, they felt really nimble. You know, just that front one was heavy. Okay, and then on speed, you gave it an 8.5 out of 10. It weighed 2.16 pounds, so it gave it a 7.84 score on the on the scale there. Yeah, a little heavy. It measured at 2.88, which is a penalty of 0 0.80. Because it's point, wider than it. Because it's a little wider than it's supposed to be. Yeah. And so they gave it a score. You ready to compare it on there? What do you think it's going to hit on there? Okay. Speak loud. I'm going to go in between the Maxis and the Vittoria. You would be correct. <laughs> 3.44 on the score. 
Okay, now the Icon Plus. The Icon Plus. Okay. Okay, 120 TPI tire, 2.75 by 2.8 as well. On this tire, you gave the looks a 3.2. The feel of the tire, you give a 3.2 as well. Cornering plus traction. So you're cornering the way it felt, cornering, you give it 4.1. Well, the, the straight line traction, like uh, climbing and, and tracking when, you know, you get in stuff and you're moving around, yeah. you give it a 2.5. And that's the reason low. why. Is be, the only reason I gave it that low is because when I was moving through them woods and it was on the back, it just felt like I was fishtailing constantly, you know? And then the speedy of a 9.9. Yeah. Zero Those tires speed. are so freaking fast. The tire weighed at 1.64 pounds. It's the lightest tire so far? Yeah. This is the lightest tires for 1.64 pounds. A score of 8.36 yeah. on the weight. Now the penalty, this is where this tire suffered a little bit. It's because the tire was way wider than what it was supposed to be. It was 2.95. It was pretty wide. And that, So that, that lost at 1.5 points. Damn. So now that being said, what do you think... Where do you think it ranks? Oh. You think it's be right there? Well, you would be wrong. Oh, time. really? 29.76 between the Barzo oh. and the Amrak. Oh, down here? Yeah, because of that penalty. Oh, man. That penalty hurt it. It, it was off by 0.15 times 10, What's makes 1.50. 29.76. So that hurt the tire bad. If it weren't oh, for yeah. that, it would have yeah. been a high. Oof. Yeah, that penalty really hurt it. All right, guys. Well, that is our um, Maxis review on the Icon Plus and the Minion DHF. Appreciate you guys watching. And uh, if you guys haven't, please subscribe. Please comment. You can share the video if you want to. Apparently, that's a big thing these days. Give us a thumbs up and um, turn the notifications on so you can be in the loop on our tire stuff. We still have these uh, Duros to go, which are an extremely budget cheap. tire. Super cheap. Super cheap tire. 27.5 by 2.20. Yeah, we'll definitely find out. But we appreciate you guys watching Wolf Tick videos. And uh, check out that description box. There's a buy us a cup of coffee link in there. You can buy some coffee or a uh, beer. Yeah. Yeah, for the month of October, it's beer. Yeah. But thanks for watching uh, Wolf Tick videos, guys. Hope you enjoyed it.